What's up, Dallas Cowboys fans? Jimmy Cartem here with your Dallas Cowboys Daily Blitz on the Fish Report YouTube channel for today, alongside DSP Media Podcast Network. Got a couple of things here to uh, discuss with you briefly about. Well, one one major thing, of course, the Cowboys draft is complete. Players are selected. We'll see how and when and where they fit in the whole grand scheme of the uh, the Cowboys' plans. A couple of flyers were taken. Um, I don't know if you want to call them reaches, but one of the biggest, I thought, hits for the Cowboys, at least I think he will be, is linebacker Damone Clark out of LSU, a highly, highly touted uh, linebacker in college, uh, especially at LSU. He wore that number 18, the the highly regarded number 18 that they only give to certain players. Uh, you have to be selected to wear that number at LSU. It's a big tradition there. And it's a big honor for a player to wear number 18. Uh, he ranked fourth last year in all of college football with 135 tackles. He led the team in tackles for a loss with 15 and a half. Uh, earned first team all SEC honors, Butkus Award finalist. It certainly caught the attention of NFL scouts, fans, everybody watching. And should have been a higher draft pick. He had a good, really good combine. Um, with the overall raw athletic score, the RAS score that they give of a 9.86. That's incredible. And he should have been a first round pick. However, while he was at the combine, you guys probably have heard the story. Um, they, they do an MRI on everybody. Of course, it's part of the evaluation process and uh, they found a herniated disc. So he chose to have that uh, spinal fusion surgery. Uh, on March 24th, Tom Pelissero of NFL.com, of course, uh, reported the surgery and uh, said that he's likely to miss all of the season. Now, the Cowboys aren't strangers to drafting a guy who's going to miss the season. Just look, Jalen Smith, of course, blew his knee out at Notre Dame in their bowl game, was supposed to be a top pick, and he fell to the Cowboys. And uh, I forgot where he was drafted, third round, maybe? I can't remember. Um, but of course we know how that ended out in the long run anyway, but, uh, you think about a guy with spinal fusion surgery, you don't expect him to play for 12 months. I mean, he's going to miss the year, right? Maybe not. Um, and of course, Steven Jones is no doctor, but Steven Jones thinks he's going to play his rookie year. Now that could mean anything. It could mean. He's going to suit up for the final stretch and play in a, uh, you know, a backup role, playing the uh, technically playing in the last game of the season is suiting up your rookie season. And Jones didn't give any specifics, but when you talk to doctors who have commented on this and you read their reports, it's very unlikely that Clark is going to play in 2022. Of course, one of four fifth round picks the Cowboys had in the 2022 draft. And again, I think he's one of their better selections. If the surgery was successful, if he's able to physically play, he's going to start the season on the PUP list, the physically unable to perform list, which means of course he cannot play or practice, but he can utilize the team's equipment rooms. He can go to meetings. He can be part of the team. He just cannot play or practice, which of course he can't do anyway because of the surgery. Uh, so Stephen Jones commented to the media. This was reported by Michael Gelkin on Twitter. And Stephen Jones used the word absolutely uh, Clark could play this season. Seems very confident in his words um, for a dude who just had spinal fusion surgery. Now, of course, I know he's young, but here's Jones's quote. Uh, he'll miss six months from his time in surgery. This is a guy who works, works, works. Football is very important to him. We, uh, very committed to getting back and he's going to work through his injuries. If anything, he's going to be one of those guys who's ahead of schedule end quote. So for sure, we all agree with that, right? If you know anything about Clark, uh, watched him play, of course, he's going to work, work, work. So he just got drafted. So of course he's going to do that. But, um, 
we all can also agree that, you know, the Cowboys are sometimes slow to bring guys back. Just look at uh, Michael Gallup right now with the ACL suffered in the postseason against San Francisco. You know, we thought he'd be back for the start of camp. He's probably going to miss the first month of the season now. And that's not because he's not rehabbing well. It's just the Cowboys just put a lot of money into him, and they want to make sure he's right before he comes back. So you would think they would do the same thing with Damone Clark, having just drafted him. If you truly think he's an integral part of your future, you would certainly want to bring him along slow and make sure that he is 100% before he steps foot onto the field. So well, that's what I've got on Clark. I'd like to know what you guys think. Find me on Twitter, at IndyCartim. The show is at Cowboys Daily Pod. Please subscribe to the channel for Fish. Over 50,000 subscribers. Now we've hit that mark. Now we're reaching for the next magical mark for YouTube of 75,000 subscribers. We appreciate each and every one of you guys that helped out, helped make that possible for us. Um, again, Fish probably doesn't say it enough to you guys, but he appreciates you guys here on the channel uh, way more than he probably lets on, especially during his uh, live live uh, broadcasts at 7.20 a.m. and 6 o'clock p.m. So that'll do it for us. We'll wrap it up now, but I appreciate you guys very much. We'll do it all again tomorrow with another Ham for Lunch, Cowboys News for you. Until then, we'll see you.